folks, thanks for joining me on this one. We're going to start off on a good note here with the verse of the day. It comes from Galatians chapter 5, verse 14, and it says, The whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I think we've had this verse of the day, or one very similar to it, in the months past, years past. It's always a, a great reminder to love your neighbor as yourself. We walk in a world of hate and greed and sin, and for example, and I'm not making this up, I'm telling the total, complete truth. Today for lunch, I whipped it into a parking, uh, parking lot. I whipped it into the parking lot of Whataburger in the big city of Waco, Texas. And because of the location of where I parked in the parking lot, I had to walk past the drive through lane to get inside to order me some lunch. Well, as I was headed in, there was a middle-aged, maybe a little older gentleman, uh, actually gentleman is not the correct word to use for this guy. We won't use the word that no, we should use to describe this man. That's not loving your neighbor as yourself. Um, but as we were, as I was walking by, he was ordering his meal and he was criticizing and he was literally yelling at the poor woman that was taking his order inside. He was a complete jerk, very rude. A lot of me wanted to just walk over open his car door, drag him out, and give him a, a, a lesson learned. Number one, it was frustrating to me because he was literally chewing this lady out that worked at Whataburger, basically calling her an idiot, yelling at her, and it really uh, just frustrated me. And it really made me mad, to be honest. And second of all, not only should we not talk to our neighbors or other people that way, but you dang sure shouldn't talk to a woman that way. And you want to get revenge, you want to get payback you want to give the guy one good hit to the jaw but it's not loving your neighbor as yourself as hard as it is it's in the lord's hands he's got to take care of but it's a good reminder for me and uh, it's a good reminder for all of us for sure and maybe who knows maybe that guy watches these videos and he knows who he is and maybe he'll see the verse of the day today but all that said i have a custom built stock archery arrow here in the pretty pink and white. I've had pigs coming into this spot pretty early, but uh, we got a little bit of rain. This little bit of rain that we got, there's hogs everywhere. This is a 340 spot TSA, 10.9 grains per inch, four millimeter. And wrapping up the end of it here is a highly requested head by a lot of you. This is a G5 Montec. And I have used a lot of G5 heads over the years. And especially over the last few months, you guys have been sending them to me. and asking me to try them out on some hogs but this was a head that I used to use whenever uh, I first started bow hunting and I didn't have great success with it but this one is like hair shave and sharp and it's like the G5 Montec original it's the one that flies and uh, makes a lot of noise it's real loud when it's headed down range but we're gonna run it tonight one of you guys gave me this head and I for the life of me can't remember who it was but you know who you are, and thank you, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but thank you. I'm excited to try this G5 head out. It's been probably six or at least six years since I've used one, maybe five, maybe seven, something like that. I don't know. Nonetheless, we're dialed, ready to go. Stick with me, hit that subscribe button. We're going to do the announcement of the 100,000 subscribers giveaway. What I'm going to do the announcement of what I'm giving away at the end of this video so if you guys want to know what that is which I'll just tell you right now it's a bow I'm going to be giving away a bow I told a lot of you that if we hit 100,000 subscribers before the year 2022 ended I would give away a hunt but we didn't make it so I'm still going to do a bow and I can't wait to show that to you guys we're going to do a full build full bow build with this bow side it in tune it all that great stuff and then we're gonna take it, use it hunting once, and then I'm gonna ship it out to one of you guys. There'll be more details on that bow and the whole giveaway thing later in this video. As I said, you have to make sure that you're subscribed to enter in, leave the, a thumbs up on this video, comment and share it. And those four things get you entered in. I'm gonna quiet down now. Pigs should be here pretty quick, I hope. So y'all sit back, buckle up, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So right now is a great time to do it. Let's see if we can't take a hog out with the G5 Monte.
about that? I've only had to wait about 45 minutes since I got in. That was awesome. I've been after that boar for quite some time, and I've actually already slipped one arrow through him at this spot. Um, it's been probably a month, month and a half ago. Um, I don't know what I did. I guess I just punched this trigger or something and just backstrapped him. Of course, he survived, and he's been just super skittish ever since, with good reason. He's been bouncing back and forth between all these different feeders, but I've always recognized him, and I've always known which one he was, because he has one ear that's tan colored and one ear that's black. <laughs> Oh, man, that was awesome. I'm watching some deer start to trickle in now. It's been about probably 10 minutes since I let that arrow fly, and I got really good penetration. It was quartered hard away. I slipped it back, a couple ribs back, and I think I double lunged him. It looked really good. Had plenty of good red stuff coming out the side of him as he was running away. He left with a good head full of steam, though, so I'm hoping he didn't make it to the neighbors. They hardly ever run that direction. And for whatever reason this year, well not this year, but uh, part of last year and this year, I've had more of them that have started to run that way. Normally they go back to the left into the property. I still got like a good probably 60 or so yards that direction before we run into the fence. But anyway, I'm hoping with this taller, thicker grass and, and green growth and vines and weeds and junk and stuff that's growing everywhere that it, hopefully he got hung up and didn't make it all the way, but it happens. Thinking that Montec, really gonna uh, make me happy but we'll see how that old uh, blood trail looks as we take off in here that hog had some pretty thick hair on him so we'll see what happens but we'll pack up get down it's uh, almost eight o'clock so looks like we may get out of here with uh, plenty of daylight get home and uh, start working up this video for you guys uh, let's go uh, check our hog out see what we got going on up here i'm not entirely sure which direction he tore out of but I know we're probably not. Oh, look at it. Right off the bat, a few feet away. Good deal. So far, we're looking really good. Dove off up underneath there. Work my way around here. Let's see if we can pick up on it on this side. Came right through here. Check that out. It's pretty dang good right there. <laughs> Should be a fairly easy trail to follow, I hope. Just have to keep watch for rattlesnakes because I don't have my snake boots on. Let's see. Right through here. Let's see. Super annoying. Right there, and then there's the neighboring fence. You can see it right there on the other side. It's over there somewhere. Well, we'll go to the house in a minute. I just got some great information we have received permission to step across and locate our hogs so we're gonna drive down there it's not far on the other side of the fence He's down there just grab him and get right back i'm super excited to check this one out haha <laughs> dude ran a long stinking ways he's been toast for a while though yeah it's a big hog much bigger than i uh, originally thought let's put him over here Oh yeah, that'll do it. We'll check out, see how that, oh man. Lost the broadhead. 
Oh well. I'm sure it's in really good shape, but this is what the majority of the trail looked like. I mean, it was phenomenal. Way better than I was really expecting. Young boar. Got some small little teeth coming in. Yeah, got my arrow back. And we found our hog. Awesome. So I told you guys that I was going to be showing you the 100,000 giveaway. And that's what we're going to do right quick. But I wanted to make a few final words or comments on the G5 Montec. In total, after I mapped out the path that that hog ran, it ran just a little over 200 yards with that double lung hit. I know I got penetration all the way to the other side. I could see uh, how much fletchings I had left sticking out um, in that hog. And so overall, considering how good the blood trail was and how good the penetration was, I'm going to go ahead and say that the broadhead performed exactly as it was supposed to. I was pretty impressed with how well the hog bled with such a small cutting diameter fixed head. Uh, typically, if you don't get a pass through, you don't always get the best of blood trails. The only thing about it though is that I'm pretty unimpressed with the distance that the hog ran and they're just tough animals and there's not a whole lot that we can do about that they're, that's just their nature is being tough we'll have to revisit the head and give it another go i'm excited for that but for now let's go over this new bow that i got from San Lita archery this is the dragon x8 this thing is super adjustable and as soon as you open it up right out of the the box here you're going to see on top is a soft-sided case this thing comes a hundred percent complete from Amazon ready to not ready to shoot but it comes with everything that you're going to need you have a caliper released wrist release here here's your manual of course um, this is an arrow puller to pull these arrows that they send cut fletched and with inserts glued in field tips and all that stuff ready to go it comes with a sight whisker biscuit here's even a sling these are going to be some of your parts for mounting your rest and your sight here and then one other cool thing is the stand just like the stand that i have on my bow and of course you can't forget your stabilizer and your quiver this thing is highly adjustable it's a very nice bow it's a 30 inch axle to axle bow i know that's upside down but uh, it goes from zero to 70 pounds and 18 to 31 inches on the draw length the overall fit and finish of the bow is very nice uh, especially for being as an affordable of a bow as it is it'd be a great backup for somebody it'd be a, a great bow for somebody that's just getting into archery as i said it's super highly adjustable and little kids all the way up to grown adults can uh, set this thing up shoot it tune it all that good stuff and if i remember correctly it needs no press so you can make all of your adjustments um, as you go with the tools that they send with it which i find very very convenient the bow itself being all aluminum is a, it makes it a slightly um, a little heavier bow but overall is very nice and I prefer a little bit heavier bow just so the wind doesn't push me around so much considering the fact that it's so adjustable if later down the road you wanted to upgrade the sight and the rest and the stabilizer and the quiver and things like that you could do that so I'm going to completely build this bow out film a video on that set up from start to finish and we're going to take it hunting I'm going to hopefully take out a hog with it and then I am going to bring it back, put it, clean it up just a little bit, maybe blow some dust off of it, um, tear it all back down, repackage it, and I'm going to ship it off and send it out to one of you guys. San Lita Archery sent this bow out to me to do some advertising, so I want to say a big thank you to them for sponsoring uh, a video, an upcoming video. But I wanted to show you guys what it is that we're going to be giving away. If you'd like to check out this bow, there will be an Amazon link down in the description below. You guys can check on it and click it. <laughs> check on it. You guys can click on it and check it out and see what you think for yourself. Maybe even pick one up if you um, would like to do that. Overall, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yesterday, I got the feeders all refilled and got protein put out everywhere. So the hogs should be going nuts and I'm excited to get back after them. We've got a couple extra broadheads. A couple extra, a couple different broadheads, I should say. That we're going to be testing out coming up. One of them is a 200 grain broadhead or 225. I can't remember which now. But it's going to be super fun to test. And I'm excited for that. I also have a super heavy arrow build test that is coming up as well. I can't wait for, for y'all to see that one too. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you very much. And I'll see you in just a few days. Bye.